Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One, coming to you on Thursday, May the 12th, the year's 2022, let's talk trading, risk, part 8 with Walmart. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only, your results may differ from mine. Walmart, we're talking about risk again, but first, there was somebody doing a little guerrilla marketing out there on YouTube, was wondering if you uh, look looked at a uh, tick chart um no well i kind of do and i really don't i don't use it for trading that's for sure but i use it as a curiosity factor so i like to look at it like when something big happens you know in the market also like yesterday when we talked about that one in one tick where it moved 20 something pips and i don't remember the exact number like 20 26 pips in one tick and then later in the later on in the day it moved you know like 40 something pips like in one tick i like looking at that just a curiosity factor but it's not there for my trading pleasure as, as you might say right. i don't i don't use it for my trading i know some people do but I, that's not something that i do that's not part of my part of my trading plan yeah well yesterday we were talking about risk um and i i had mentioned that you know when as the the longer you're in the trade you know you, you run the risk of having um price flash against you a bunch of pips of course it could also go your way a bunch of pips oh um, yeah as you just mentioned you know looking at the tick chart so um continuing along those lines is there anything else uh you you look at and you think of you know in terms of risk or that's risky or maybe i shouldn't do that or maybe i need to do this <laughs> Yeah, I want to talk about the, you know, it flashes in a particular direction, you know, for, for a second here, you know, um, because yeah, I've had it go against me and I've also had it go in my direction. I've had both. I've had both. Okay. And here's it. And I know you have subscribed to the same thought. If it goes and flashes in your direction and all of a sudden you get hit with a 20 pip winner, you know, when well, we're only looking to go and make a little bit of pips. Okay. And you get hit with a 20 pip winner, 25 pip winner, you know, because you know, you messed up and you forgot to do his news or the market just went and did it for some unknown reason you know what i do <laughs> i go and take my 20 25 pips whatever it may be and i hit the exit button i get out i take what i can get and here's the reason why more times than not it flips on you and goes back the other direction you know now it may continue in that original direction uh, you know but more times than not, it actually, if it jumps up 20 pips, it's going to jump down 15 or it may even jump down 40. I've seen that happen as well. I'm sure, uh, Tiro, you've seen that as well. But it's, you know, I just say, okay, you know what? I'm up substantially here. Get out, you know? And that kind of, you know, it, that's not really what we're talking about in terms of risk, but that's taking advantage of being in a trade, you know? And when the market is moving like that and doing crazy things like that, and here's how we tie risk into this. When the market's not moving the way you expect the market to move, why are you trading it? You know, this type of thing where, okay, I took advantage of it. I'm going to take my money. I'm going to leave. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go wait. You know, and I'm going to wait for this market to to be something that I'm more familiar with, you know, and why would I go and take the, take the risk of taking a big loss when I can get out right now with a nice little profit. Well, exactly, because, um, you know, I guess the difference between, you know, me, you versus me and you versus um, many of the other traders out there is that we're, we're just looking to make a bunch of quick strikes, you know, the, the smash and grab type trades as opposed to... Uh, riding it because i would wager you were probably trading back when price was around say 2200 2210 and it moved all the way up to 2247 but i bet you 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 may have taken some bites but you didn't take you know the whole plate <laughs> That's exactly right. I was most of my trading today was down when it was at 2200, and uh, mm -hmm. you know when it was moving up towards 2200 from back from when it got almost down to 2170, and I took a couple of trades down there back and forth down there, and then when it went across the 2200, the first time it kind of exploded up there, but then uh, 
about an hour or so later, it did this thing where it just bounced back and forth across the uh, across the 2200 line, up and down on it. And it just looks like, if you look at the chart, it looks like, hey, it just went across the 2200 line and dropped down to 219, you know, but no, it didn't really do that. It was jumping back and forth by, you know, five pips in each direction. It would go down to 2195, then it would jump back up to, you know, 2205. And I was able to go and, you know, make some money there just by playing that line back and forth but the thing is what if i would have taken one of those trades where it went up you know and i was up to 2205 and i didn't get out of my trade well then i would have to sit there and wait for it to get all the way down to you know 2185 or so and then eventually yeah it got back to where i wanted but i'd be underwater by 15 or more pips Whereas I would have been up for five in and out, you know, and that's, that's, that's my style of trading. That's what I do. That may not be what, you know, everybody does. And, you know, as you like to go and say at the beginning or the end of your videos that, you know, just because I'm able to do it or you're able to do it doesn't mean that somebody else is able to do it. You have to go and find your groove, find what works for you. Uh, that's what works for me. Just, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out. And that works very, very well. Exactly. And one thing I'm looking at, like right now, I just I put up the five minute chart. It's just pretty much blank. But if you just look what's been going on over the past, say, eight or nine candles, we had that, you know, first we had that big up move in that one five minute candle. And that would have been a, a, a nice one to stay in. But and now it's kind of doing what we would say, oh, it's starting to range between about 22, what? Uh, 40 and 22 say 25 ish or so on the five yep. minute yep that's that's about right you know i want to go and address a uh, a a comment that was left on youtube uh, a couple days ago i guess it was you know and uh, somebody had said that hey um while I was going and doing that, he did like 20 trades or something like that, you know, and he, you know, he was only doing like three to five, you know, well, here's the reality is that, you know, yeah, the markets changed back when we were talking about the Walmart, which was, you know, over two years ago, the market moved differently. You know, and it was the type of thing where when it would break a Walmart line, it would go and break it for 10, 15, 20 pips in a straight shot, you know, and if it didn't break it, it would go against you by five or seven pips. So, yeah, back in those days, I was able to get away with only taking one, two, three trades a day. Well, unfortunately, now what it does is it'll go and break the Walmart line and it'll break it by three, four or five pips. And then what it'll do is it'll just do a knee-jerk reaction back the other direction. And now, you, next thing you know, you're underwater by five, seven, sometimes even 10 bips before it turns around and goes back the other direction again. So, yeah, that, that trader is right. I don't, you know, I, I'm taking a lot more trades because the, what I'm doing is I'm going in, getting my pips and getting out. And what I'm doing is I'm minim, minimizing my risk, getting back on topic. I'm minimizing my risk. I'm taking what I can. What I can. And so because of that, yeah, I'm taking a lot more trades, but I'm in the trades for a very, very short period of time, which is kind of what how we ended the video yesterday with this idea that the more you're in the market in terms of overall time, the more risk that you're taking on. Well, I'm in, I'm out very, very quickly. Most of my trades, I'm in and out within less than a minute, you know, and because I go in, I take the trade and I'm out. And if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, well, there's the next trade coming down, the, coming down the pike and I'll take that one. Right. I just put up the uh, one hour chart that shows the um, Walmart or the sweet spot lines with the two Walmart lines highlighted. And this hour we had a Walmart at 2230 and uh, we hit 2240. So there was an opportunity to uh, take your um, 10 pips. But if we uh, let's say let's go down to the one minute time frame and, you know, we can take another look and we can see um, how it oscillated. I mean, it there was an opportunity to take uh, uh, two pips on the first time, then the second time when it given you about four or five, and then there was a couple more touches there, and then it, it ran up to the 40. So it's been oscillating between 30 and 40 this hour and last hour. Right. 
so you know it's the type of thing where you know if you see a pattern like this with the Walmart method, I don't net you know in the old days I'd say don't take the trade until you've gone below it, and then you can take the cross cross of that line again. Well, if I start seeing like um you know 15 minutes into the hour, and I start seeing this pattern where it comes down and hits it, and then comes back up, hey wait for it to hit it and then once you're convinced that it's moving in your direction again go and take your trade and like you said you could have picked up two you could have picked up four you could have even picked up you know seven or eight when it finally went across the 40 you know and that's that's just how i'm starting to trade things because of just because of the way the market moves and you got to remember that you know this just because it works today doesn't mean it works tomorrow and you got to be constantly going and refining you know what you know refining your method and i'm not saying changing methods that's different i'm not changing methods i'm refining refining it for what the current market conditions are and i that's that's what we have to do as traders that's why you know it's the type of thing where you it's not one of these things where i think you just go and sit there and you do it over and over and over again. Yes, that's what you do. And you do it over and over and over again until it stops working. And then you figure out why, you know, that, you know, there are people out there that go and sell these EAs, right. And they, they, they claim that 99% of the time it goes and works. You know what? I can go and take any method in the world. I don't care. It could be the worst method in the world. And I can find a position on the chart where it works 99% of the time. That's just, you know, that's just what it, what happens. So what do you have to do? That's why EAs and robots long term that these guys sell for forty nine ninety nine, you know, and they're gonna make you millions. Well if they're gonna make you millions, why are you selling it for forty nine ninety nine? You know, that's my first question. But the reality is that what you need to do is you need to go and look at it and say, Will it work? Does it work today? Will it work tomorrow? And more times than not, it may work right now for a short term, but it's not going to work tomorrow. So if you want to take advantage of it, you got to take advantage of it, but be very, very tight on it. Right. Now, you know, there's something you said about method, and you ha I think traders need to uh, really understand something. Um, your method usually describes when to enter and what direction and then there's a part of your method which really is in a way it's separate I say part of your plan but it's like you know uh, I got real money on the table you know in the game skin in the game and so either a I'm going to take profit at this level if the market smiles upon me and gives me the opportunity or I'm going to cut my losses at this level and as you said wait for the next signal so this whole idea of method you, you got to really think about it it's just like are we fooling ourselves in the sense that um right now somebody could go short somebody could go long you know somebody could use a supercomputer with ai to, to enter somebody else could just feel it you know see to their pants and so that's why um we've got to understand not to fool ourselves with only looking at these methods that are more concerned with entry than anything else yeah i would agree i mean i you know, I've said this to you before, and I've been ridiculed for saying this to, in other circles, but the reality is that I really don't think that the method of entry is nearly as important as the methods that you use to control your emotion, the methods that you use to exit once you're in the trade. You know, um, I think those things are much more important. You know, I'm not saying that you just randomly enter left or right, because bias does have a, a you know, a huge play in it. If you have a method that says go long at this point, if we've only gone that point far or whatever, whatever you see on your charts as working at this moment in time, yeah, follow that and do that and consistently do that as long as it consistently works. But the thing is that there's a lot, you know, there's a lot other, your trading plan is more than just the method of entry. And I think a lot of, you know, beginning traders get themselves into trouble because the only thing that they're looking for is a method of entry. Right. You know, they, they get sold this ball of wax. I hate to say it where, you know, 
hey, just use some our method. And if you use our method, you can be a millionaire in, you know, 10 weeks or some crazy nonsense like that. Yeah, so we're, we're going to have to come back because the fastest 15 minutes in trading is up once again. So, fellow traders, you know, once again, we've been talking about risk. So just make sure you're paying attention and you, and you don't lose more than you're willing to lose on any one particular trade. So... It's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. Traders, go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one over and